Hey folks, Troy Dooley here with the Network Marketing Advocates and MLM Help Desk, and I am joined by two of my newest members. I have Lena here and Tempest here, and they are working side by side with their papa today. You guys happy? Mm -hmm. Like being on the video? Good. Hey, we're, we're sponsored, and you can't see my shirt, but we're actually sponsored by Longevity. And I'm going to reach over here and grab this card because this right here, I want you to see this. This is the pharmacy card, and I talked about this last week because FDI and Longevity have saved the consumers like $5 million in pharmaceutical prescriptions. But what got me excited this week, I went into Walmart to check my blood pressure, and when I sat down there and put my arm in the cuff, my fingers slid across the desk, and here's an FDI card. This is from one of their distributors, J. Edward Enterprises. Their phone number is a 618 area code, so he's not even from the island here in Destin. So I just thought, man, i got to share this. This is what it's about. When you can go out there and build your business with customers, not just with the network, it's a win-win. And on that note, Longevity's got some great stuff coming out. 90 for life. This is something. This is a new tagline. We're going to be broadcasting, talking about this. I'm going to talk with Steve Wallach and his team. Uh, it's great. And I was going to talk with Steve today, but he is in the Philippines. They officially launched in the Philippines last night with around 4,000 brand new distributors. You talk about a company that is on the fly. They, they, they will probably, if I look at the financial reports, they'll break $100 million this year. It's a phenomenal story, and we want to get it out there, folks. It's great. Another great company I want to share about, uh, Tom, what is it? Tommy Tools, Tommy Boy Tools. That's what it is. I'm sorry. It's the Pink Tool Company. That's what I call it. Tom Boy Tools. And here's what gets me excited about this company is the fact with so many men off to war, with so many women going through divorces or single moms, this is a company that said, you know what, we're going to give them what they need. We're going to provide tools. And they do. Now, they're pink. Some of you guys may like pink tools, you know, but it's just cool. And the way they give back to the community is awesome. I love that. Hey, another company I want to talk about, Skinny Body Care. You know, we did a little bit of a scathing report on this company. Oh, I don't know. I guess it's been three or four months ago. And Tim Miller and Wendy Royer, I think I said your name right, Wendy, I apologize if I didn't. They reached out to me as the top distributors, really wanted to make sure they got it right. And Tim and I have been friends for years. And I told him, I can't, you know, I can't hold back just because we're buds, you know. This is important to me that distributors understand there's risk. These two stuck it out, their team stuck it out, they worked with the company, and they've made some great strides forward. Not saying everything's perfect. We're going to do some up, do upcoming reviews, but I thought it was important that we share the, the facts and keep this balanced. Uh, TCN, another company, Text Cash Networks, I can't say the same thing about this company. They're still not legal to do business in the state of Florida. Uh, if they're not legal to do business in this state where their headquarters is, now they're domiciled out of Wyoming, but if their headquarters here, they said they got this gigantic new office, and yet they're not licensed legally as a domiciled or a foreign corporation to do business, this, this can be some issues. I reached out to the president of the company, gave him 10 questions that I wanted to ask. We'll put these up in the blog post. To date, he hasn't answered those. Now, some of them they, they fixed on the website. I've got to give them credit there. But, folks, here's, my, here's a concern. They're international. They're taking in con, uh, people internationally. If you're funneling money offshore in countries where you're not legal to operate, plus you're not legal to operate here, Man, that could raise some red flags under the Patriot Act. It's called money laundering. So there's just too many issues that distributors need to check on to make sure this is, this is right. I tracked Brett back to a corporation, a website I should say that he owns, and the corporation used to be domiciled in Florida. I called the 800 number hoping I'd get a hold of somebody, and I did, but it went to some adult sex party company. They're actually a, 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 a direct selling type of company, and I don't know if they're affiliated with TCN or, or if he got rid of the 800 number and forgot to take the website down or what. It's a little strange. So just be cautious there. Uh, other good stuff that's happening around the industry, and I thought this was great. Uh, got some news from Blythe. Blake Mullins, bless you, shot me over some numbers. And bless you again. And this is something that we've all got to look at. You may like Vaisalus. You may not like Vaisalus. You may think the guys are are egotistical or crazy and they are young and nuts but listen to this here this is the important part last year Blythe did 10.2 million in the third quarter this year they did 73 
$4.2 million in the third quarter with weight loss. Okay, that's a story in and of itself, but here's the other one. Jason O'Toole, who's a young and up-and-coming 20-something, I don't even think he's hit the age of 30 yet. Quiet, girls, quiet. I don't even think he's reached the age of 30. He just became the first global ambassador in this company's history. That means he has helped five other people achieve the rank a five-star ambassador and he's out of he's out of Canada so here you've got somebody in Canada kicking butt all over North America this is the first person to hit global ambassador he's not sharing that bonus pool with anybody if you think it's gonna stay that way you're in for a rude awakening this kid is gonna be on fire he looks like if I looked at their numbers right and understand the comp plan and what Blake has shared with me here's what we have He's going to be hitting somewhere around the 200 million mark, I believe, in the first of the year. There's going to be some up-and-coming leaders there, both in Canada and the U.S. They're going to want to take him down. So the internal competition alone right now at Blythe could shoot them at that billion-dollar mark. We're going to do some reviews and stuff on, on uh, by Salas at the first of the year. I'm going to look at uh, Ryan's book. I think we're going to be reviewing it over at Real Mentors Radio. So watch what's up. Watch what's coming. Hey, if you want to get some free stuff and some huge discounts on some great trainers, you need to join my newsletter. I'm putting out a, my year-end newsletter. It'll be out first of the week. You've got through the weekend to get in there, get to join. All you got to do is go over to MLM Help Desk, get in Troy's private newsletter, check it out on Facebook. I put a link up there and you're going to be able to do some stuff. One last thing before I let you all go and, I, and my girls and I get back to goofing off. The Network Marketing Advocates. This week I'm putting up a boatload of videos that I'm, I've, I've gotten from the Direct Selling Education Foundation. I'm going to be talking about these because as we go into 2012, the focus is going to be on educating distributors on what's up and coming and how to make sure you're with the right company and running your business professionally. Live life like it's an epic adventure. I'll see you at the top. Say bye, girls. Bye.